Hello there. I have this finished, this book, called 1984. And it is probably a libertarian's nightmare. And um, it is fantastic. And I'm going to read a ch part of this book. Uh, where is it? I'm going to try to find where... Part one, here we go. Big Brother is watching you. There's one of the big quotes in there. Okay, here it is. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. And it is one of... This book is fantastic. 1984 by George Orwell. They gave me a bookmark, by the way. Beautiful bookmark. And um, this book is fantastic. This is probably one of the best books uh, in nonfiction ever. I mean, in fiction, I mean. This book inspired an entire genre of um, basically forgotten history books. Like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but like a dystopian society that's forgotten its history. And this book talks about them rewriting history. There was another guy who wrote A Brave New World. He was the French student of George Orwell. Uh, George Orwell. And he basically caused, this is what he did, he wrote another book called A Brave New World. So 1984, he wrote A Brave New World. A Brave New World is talking about them not caring. They lost their history because they didn't care about it. They were so caught up in the pleasure they didn't care. In 1984, it's about oppression. It's about control. It's the most extremist society you could ever get uh, in a lot of ways. So I think both books have their... Both books are correct. Um, you can see the authoritarian nature in academia with 1984. However, with uh, Brave New World, you see... A what is it? A more of a this is like the internet. You're seeing it. Oh, the internet's basically claiming that um, what is it? The pleasure of like looking at you know girls online or something like that. You know what I mean? There's always like this thing that like this dopamine in the internet, and so you're seeing the worst of both worlds. The control speech of 1984 with the academia, but then the pleasure sensors of going to parties and and uh, and then like the pleasure of going online and you know commenting online there's some feeling that we feel and you see the negativity online too i think that 1984 really uh, explains even though 1984 was written way before the internet i do think that a lot of the book the quotes in that book have came true um and um i generally think that that book, um, 1984, is probably one of the best books. I highly recommend uh, 1984. Um, it, it revolutionized an entire genre of books. Um, the, the Giver, uh, Brave New World, it, it revolutionized uh, the idea of forgotten history dystopian novels. And, um, and we should never forget about our history. And, um, you know, it's a very interesting topic. Uh, some a society that forgets about its history. Um, and I'm always worried about that. I'm always worried that we've forgotten about the economics of a country or we've forgotten about something. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just don't think the way a normal person should. Um, but um, yeah, I just, I think that this book, I finished all of it. There's three chapters in this book. So if you want to read, it's like a hundred chapters a page. Or hundred chapters, uh, chapter. Like, there's like three chapters in this book. It's massive, per, per per chapter. The third chapter is the fourth. The second chapter is the best, but the third chapter talks about the torture techniques they use in the prisons, and it is very unique. Uh, you will grow to love Big Brother. Like that is a very interesting thing. There's no need for uh, pleasure. It will only be love for Big Brother. Like, it is the most dystopian way you could want someone to love a government. 
Um, I'm on page, like, this is page 300 on the bookmark. I just wanted to bookmark 300 just for no reason. Uh, but I thought it was a very interesting concept that you can control the mind so much when you falsify records. Somehow they have a way to grasp the mind. And they use this indoctrination technique to, to basically make sure that the mind is reachable to the government. It's a very interesting thing. I don't know if he was, if the guy who had like inspiration, George Orwell had inspiration for it, but it was very interesting to, to look at the way he structured it. And uh, George Orwell's life, you know, he, he fought in a bunch of uh, civil wars. He fought, um, you know, he was born in India and then he decided, well, he was born in British Rods. He was a British person, but he was born in British Rods. He fought a bunch of wars, uh, World War One, I, I think. Well, no, maybe not World War One because he was born in 1909. So maybe, but like the Spanish Civil War, I know he fought. And I know he wanted to fight. I think he fought in World War Two as well. And he wasn't supposed to fight in the uh, Spanish Civil War. The British said no. The British didn't want to get involved. But he was one of the small factions in the Spanish Civil War he was a part of. And he, he thought socialism worked because the government he was working for, um... They were very friendly people. They wanted soldiers from other countries to join in. And they were actually the one successful communist country in history, really. So that Spanish communism worked uh, under a rule, uh, under a warring environment, which is pretty impressive, to be honest with you. However, I just don't think that that would be long term. I don't think it's sustainable. And that's why he wrote the book in terms of a perspective of socialism, because he thinks that um, it was interesting because in a lot of ways it says INSOC, which means socialism, but in a lot of ways they hate the socialist. It's, it clearly is very contradictory in terms of the party name. Um, it's fascinating to me how you can, it's called double think when you think one thing, but it's totally another thing. You're, you're part of the party, you, you're independent minded, but everyone thinks the same. It's the same, same kind of reasoning that universities use. It's very interesting. And uh, that's why I don't trust universities. Anyway, <laughs> I do highly recommend the book. It is the libertarian nightmare that people don't want to live in. And um, I don't know. I find this this book is fascinating with the um, storytelling. Um, they missed a bunch of parts in the movie. They missed like three characters who were all key to plot in the movie. And it disappointed me when I was watching I watched the movie today as well. I read I read the book, then I watched the movie. And the movie's missing plot points, like clear plot points um, from the book. I mean, the movie's already really long, so it was, the book. The movie was made in 1952. It rots the black and white version, not the color version. The color version was made in 1984, just like the book. But I just, I watched the movie instead. And to be honest with you, the movie is just missing so many plot points. They They messed up one of the characters' names because the actor had the same name as the character in a book so they named they changed the name of the character in the in the movie uh it's fascinating what they did to the movie um they wanted to make it uh they didn't want to offend the actor for making a different name or having the same name so they changed the name uh george Orwell probably would have been disappointed by that but let's you know whatever he he got his movie made so it's whatever george Orwell died before uh after the or before the movie was made but yeah um I don't know, I just think that this movie, or this book, is like, we're 10% in this reality. It could very well be that we could get 90% in tomorrow if the government decided to surveil everything on the cell phones or anything like that. Um, but I just, I don't know, I just like, I like this book. I think it, it shows that you don't want to give people too much power. Uh, it's so easy for, a, a, for history to change on a, on a stroke of a pen. And people's minds may not be as manipulated as they are in 19, 1984, but I think they could be. I think I think this book is the most realistic that Stalin may have wanted, or you know whoever the whatever dictator was around, they probably would have used these techniques. So yeah. Anyway, you are someone, and I'm someone else, and I'm just here reading books. Yeah.